I have been fencing for five years. Uh, the things I enjoy about fencing are hitting people. It's like social, you know, get to see, meet lots of people, and uh, beating my mum and brother. I've done uh, reasonably well on the national level, and I've won quite a few regional under 15 and under 13 competitions. Corey was um, born with a limb deficiency and the lower limb deficiency that he's got is called um, amniotic band syndrome. So what that means is that when I was carrying him in my womb, the, um, the proteins in the amniotic fluid in the womb can sometimes form like little strings and those strings wrap themselves around a growing lum, um, limb bud while it's growing. So the um, limb is essentially starved of oxygen and, and just cannot grow at all. His friends and all the social circles around him, they've grown up with this kid who has only got one hand but is very capable and would beat them up the rope ladders and up the ladders and across the playground equipment. So he's always had this, you know, I'm going to have a go at doing it, I can't do something with two hands like my friends can't, I'll figure out a way to adapt to that. Growing up, since I haven't really had anything, it's not like I've had to adapt hugely but you know you still get questions from little kids wondering why you've only got one hand and things and it's like never been awkward or anything it's just I, I didn't used to talk about it much when I was little but now I joke about it all the time but yeah I always like wanted to see what it'd be like to have another hand but you know it's not sort of an essential thing. The New Zealand uh, Science Festival contacted us about a year ago and they said we'd like you to come and present your work and be able to show the different um, students here at the university and the Polytechnic uh, about what uh, technology with compassion can really do. And then when we found out that there was someone here who also needed a limb, um, our designers went to work and they developed this really sleek looking arm for Corey and, um, in the hopes that it might be able to give him a little bit more confidence and a little bit more functionality in uh, everyday life. This arm's more custom and like advanced compared to my other ones and like I can get lots of, I can get like stuff on it if I want it, you know. Um, I taught the Polytechnic's engineering and design teams here in Dunedin have worked with Limitless out of Florida to fashion an arm for Corey. Um, Limitless has provided the electronics and the brains behind a robotic arm and we've been their local liaison to get the measurements, uh, have input into how Corey wants the arm to look and now it's here, he'll be working with it and as he gets better at using it, Otago Polytechnic will continue to provide the ongoing support for that arm. wanting something that um, expresses his own um, sensitivity of materials and form and did some drawings and, and we'll try and mimic that as much as possible with uh, different materials which I'm going to enjoy styling so. And so it's always a step-by-step -step process and we met Corey and we noticed that the sizing wasn't exactly what we wanted and so we, we went back to the drawing board um, and through some really complex processes we were able to take what we have even without our normal workshop in the United States um, and with the resources here at the Polytechnic we were able to recraft, change the solution. Well, what we've learned about Corey is that he can already do anything he wants to from fencing or to uh, playing the, the trombone and, and doing his normal life but we hope that this gives him just a little bit more confidence um, and for daily things, maybe and it's as easy as holding 
a sandwich in one hand and a drink in the other, or being able to put on your seatbelt in the car without having to use your teeth or without having to contort your body. And it's those little things in the day-to-day -day that we take for granted that we hope can really help Corey um, as he goes on through his studies and really hopefully he'll end up changing the world as well.